Hello one and all, welcome back to the Darkest Dungeon. James has gone home, it's just me again. In the last episode with James, we beat up the Swine Prince and we were happy to have done so. However, as a result, Ash is now in the uh, sanitarium, having stuff removed. Jekry is in the bar, having stress removed. But everyone else is quite happy to go, and do you know what? There are various people who we have not taken out for some time. So, I think without further ado, do you know what? Without further ado is a very, very simple phrase, you know, especially if you consider the Shakespearean, not necessarily origin, but we use the word ado in phrase much to do about nothing, which everybody knows is, you know, a very famous Shakespeare play if you paid any attention in school or in just Western culture since forever. Um, and yet people still manage to say adieu, you know, without further adieu, which is to say without saying goodbye. So it doesn't make sense. Uh, do we need a new hero? No. I'm just clicking on all of these to see if anything is um, upgradable, really. Ah, brothel is, but I, think... I don't really... That says you're in the bar, but you're in the gambling hall. Okay, we are going to need to upgrade the stabby power of our level 3s and get Dutch up to level 3 as well. I think Dutch is probably the best one to go with us. Um, D works well in the third position and Arbalists work well in the rear position. You can even, you know, do a quick heal from the back which is quite nice. I haven't tried these, well blind fire seems reasonably good but I haven't tried this one or seen anyone use it. Clear mark target, clear stun! Ah, actually, I was talking about that the other day, was I not? Uh, wouldn't it be great if there was a stun removal thingy? So that might be very worthwhile taking, especially if we're doing a boss that we expect to stun us. Or just we have people who really don't want to be stunned, which often happens. Maybe we should take a party. Let's see where we can go. We should take a party comprising people who we have not taken for a while, uh, which is not me and Ed. Where have we got? There's a veteran level 3, which is probably not something we want to do. An apprentice level 1 short, which is maybe a good idea because we can have another quick episode. So these are all mediums, but they're also all apprentice. So it's really down to what do we need, and I think we need everything except crests. So deeds and portraits are really our... Um, yeah, thanks for the rewards there. These and portraits are the things we're struggling for. Don't forget we can exchange, but uh, let's see what we've got. A longevity eye patch. Minus one speed. Well, we've got a man at arms. It's Holmesy. They go at the front for almost all, literally all of their skills is basically the first two or three. Some of them work from the back, but not many. That will reduce our speed, but increase our HP. So you're a tank, basically. Maybe that's a tank that will go with uh, an abomination, so we should keep that in mind. These are some reasonably poor de uh, negative quirks as well. I was going to say debuffs, which I suppose they are, but they're very much more permanent than that. Or we could go to the wield. Oh, isn't that twice? No, it's not. So we've got Book of Rage. More... So if you, if you take a lot of damage, you start getting stressed out and doing more damage etc. Less stress damage, more accuracy, less dodge. Okay, so that's a sort of a chill out thing. <laughs> this is a little book of calm, yeah. A highwayman thing. Holmesy is talking to me right now on Steam. Ah, oh, she's off to bed. No, no worries. Night, Holmesy. I might take you on a mission right now. Highwayman only. Plus 10 range steals, less stun resist. Hashtag, hashtag bed. Okay, cool. I'm going to take that. Okay, cool, bro. You're on your own episode. This will be surreal for you. That's going to be surreal for you. Or that is probably right now currently being surreal for you right now. Um, We don't really have any highwaymen that we want to upgrade too much. There's me. And there's Raikuda. But I'm, I'm not sure I'm a fan of less stun resist. So I'm thinking we go for uh, this mana arms only one. Then we can improve our mana arms, who I was just talking to IRL. So let's take you. 
And then for the second position, Snowland hasn't been out for a while. A weak grip on life, that's true. Third and fourth position. Did we get an occultist? We did. You're coming with us. Have you got what I want? Yes. Right, you can go there. You can go there. The occultist is going to be our healer. Although, you know, we could take D or Ash, but... Well, we can't take Ash, but we could take D, but there's no point leveling D further than everybody else. And also, she might not want to come out on an apprentice mission, so there's that too. Miri, do you work in the th second position? Not too well. I'm just basically now trying to pick someone who will work in the second position, which is not, apparently, very many people. Oh, we should rename this person, because we can... Uh, I have some more names. It's going to be Bagel. In time, we will either kill people by accident or get a bigger roster. Can you work in the second position? Kind of work in the second position? You can't Iron Swan. Or you can Yowp from there. Can't Iron Swan, but maybe I could get one of these. That'll move you forwards. Does the Man at Arms work from the second position? If so, it might be worth... Yes. We could just swap around, of course. Actually, that's that's not a bad idea. If we do this, I know we can get some sort of front-based DPS. Like a Viva Phonics here again. Yeah, let's... um. Let's take that to just speed up the episode a little bit. Uh, we'll provision. We're running out of money. It did say when I was loading that you can sell trinkets, which we should actually uh, check. Gordon Bennett, the setup of this is outrageous. Right. Uh, you are going to be at the front, and you are going to probably be hit a lot, so... Did you take the bleed skill? Yes. So I'll give you the bleed charm. No. No. Yes. The bleed amulet. And the stun amulet. That's pretty good. Those are two things that we're quite likely to use quite a lot. And that was nice and quick. You. I don't know. Leper. Not really helpful. More protection. More HP. Less damage. That's fine. More resists, but less skill chances. I don't think you have many of those skills. Knockback, stun... Yeah, you've only got a stun skill, and that doesn't affect a stun skill, so that's really good. Then we have Snowlin, who is dog-based. What else can we give you? Protection. Some dodge is probably useful here. Units tend to hit the weaker ones at the back, and I don't like it when that happens, so if we can... Ah, you have more dodge. That's actually quite good. Less debuff resist, but as long as we keep you topped up on HP, that'll be fine. And then you are going to have a 15% heal skill bonus. I would like something that reduces your ability to bleed. But I don't think there is one. Oh, actually, you have one. No, you. Ah, but I don't want to reduce your blight skills, do I? Because you're going to have... Well, actually, you don't have those. Yeah, let's do that then. Uh, let's take this off of... Homesy here. Give it to Bagel. Because now, when we do the weird reconstruction, this will cause the bleed skill to be even less likely to bleed the uh, the good guy. Which is exactly what we want. And then that means that Homesy, you might as well have uh, more HP. Slower speed. You haven't got any bleed skills. Less stress. Okay. Less stress. You're very slow, so you'll be quite late in the in the turn order, but let's press on. We will provision. Uh, it's a medium mission, so we're going to take stack and a half. Yeah, but we'll only take one stack of these, because I'm expecting to find a couple. Where are we going? The cove. We might find a... Uh, take a bit more. Uh... Maybe one of those. I don't want to take too much because we want to come back with as much stuff as possible. We did get doggy treats, which is nice. Uh, I think I'll just try to avoid using anything that I'm concerned about. Or maybe I'll just go for broke and use everything anyway. Who knows? It's a... Thralls will explode if left for too long. It's an open book. What happens from now on is anybody's guess. I don't know myself well enough. This is, uh, this is decent. 100% of room battles. They must be washed out. A critical scouting success will sometimes reveal a secret room. And you need a key for it. We have found a secret room here. And there's a battle here, so we have to go that way. So that's interesting. There's an obstacle there, so I'm glad I bought at least one shovel, right? Yeah. 
All right, let's let's uh, head out. We haven't got any battles coming up. The very first thing we encounter is a bloody bloody bugger. Sax contents are mine. Press on, gang. That's why we call you the press gang, gang. So the secret room. If you go to the tile and press up whilst in the tile, I guess it's like the back here. You will end up in here, and then you have a key. Great treasures. Ooh. Plus thirty heal skills. Plus twenty stress damage. You can have that. It g increases our stress stress damage, but that's. Fine, I think. More pro, more stress damage. Look, <laughs> what have you got? Has anyone got protection? You've got protection. Thirteen percent prop for twenty stress damage is not as good as ten percent prop for ten percent stress damage. I have to be honest. Uh, let's. How do we leave? Oh, okay. There's a battle coming up. Excuse me. I want to move to this room. This room. Where are we? We are here. Okay. Halt. What's happening? Okay. What happened there was we had turned around by going into that room. I was so confused just now. As you can no doubt tell. We will use a torch. Aha! Not surprised. Okay. We don't really know what these things can do because we haven't been here for very often. Well, too many times. So we will yout these things to try and prevent them from doing anything. I am quite happy with not learning more about them if it means that they don't do any damage to me. Does anybody have a mark skill? We'll find out, I guess. This is going to be one of those where we find out how everybody works against one another, or works off one another. We can stress heal, which is nice. I think that's... I can stress heal him, which is good. Uh, we will mark these because they have 75% protection, which is now down by 20%, so that's valuable indeed. Let's see. Minus 15 dodge as well. I guess we just sort of... I should have done that one. Never mind. I'll, I'll weaken this one, because it may have a go. And it will probably do us damage. Or at least try to. If we crush this, what are we going to do? 2 to 3 damage. It does only have 5 HP, but with that much... Um, with that much protection... We could have crit it, which is why I tried. Ah, oh, good dodge, good dodge. With that much protection, 5 HP is still quite a lot. That actually took 1 HP off of that thing, which is really nice. Uh, I guess we could do it again. Or oh, this one's likely to go. What's it do? A gargling grab, which is a stress attack. So I'd actually like to try and DPS that one down if possible. So. We have the market. We should mark it. We have now two marks targets. So if any of our units can actually use... Uh, can attack a mark. Yeah, there we go. 60 damage... Versus Mark. This is not a beast. None of these is a beast. But that one was marked. And it's bleeding, and it's one damage per round. That's actually kind of annoying because it has two HP left. Do we have something that will damage both? Does this damage it? No. <laughs> That's a problem. That's actually two points around as well, which is also a shame. How many bleeds? We this actually uh, debuffs us, so maybe we don't want to do that. I think it's probably worth making sure the one that we know has a stress attack doesn't get to do the stress attack. Do you have a hitting of two things? No. This is probably quite good to use at the start as well. Uh, we could stun one and knock it back. Like we could stun this one. Or we'll try to. It resisted. That's not what we want. What does Brian do? It misses. Ah, okay. It's just a, you know, a vague spray of water. These things are not doing well for themselves, but they're doing well in my book, that's for sure. Uh, weakening curses. You've both got one, so I will hex you. Now, you're still marked from before. This is a three round mark. It doesn't tell you how long the mark lasts for, so you kind of have to guess. Uh, again, we'll just attack the marks one. Two to three or three to five. Wow, why? Oh, you've got a negative protection. Okay. Be gone, fiend! This chap's vocalizations make the game, in my opinion. And a quick crit at the end, just to finish it all off. I'm happy with this. This looks like it's gone down to me. Stashed heirlooms. Of course it does. Why wouldn't it? 
and then we get to do this room battle. Glittering gold trinkets. I'm pleased to have found that secret room, but I'm not hugely convinced that it was actually worth the key. Oh, these are surprised, so we get a complete go before we figure out what to do here. That's that keeps missing, so I'm gonna count on it continuing to miss. This can bleed us, but it will also protect something else. So if we can stop that protecting that. Well, I see... Note how these ones don't actually tell you what they do. I assume that just means that they do damage straight up, but it could mean that we don't know what effects they have because we've resisted or it's failed to connect or something. So we've got a stress wave here. So we want to make sure that one's dead and that one can't protect. So I think what we do... Have you got protection? No, but a good dodge. You've got protection. So that's minus 20% prot. We could guard one of these two. But I think our best bet at this stage is to put... Oh, it's only three rounds though. It's only protection. Okay, so... I don't know what to do when, when the hound master starts. Right, let's uh, guard one of these two. Might as well be you. Is that a good idea? I don't know. Gives us more dodge though, so anything that attacks that may be dodged by us, is what I'm thinking. So now we can, if it bleeds, oh, we can yow. So I want to stun this, which does have a 25% stun resist, but I think it's worth a try. It, it works on both, even though that one has 50%, and that's really, really good. So now we start weakening 30% damage, 15 dodge, so we want to make sure this will die. So we remove some of its dodge. It fucking avoided the debuff, which is outrageous. And of course we can't actually hit it. <laughs> That's a problem. Mark target activate repost. So this will mark us. We're protected by Holmesy. No, Holmesy is protected by Snowen. We will mark ourselves and activate repost. So if we get attacked, Snowen takes the damage and then we hit back. That may be worth doing. That's possibly the only way we can hit that. Uh, oh, we marked one of these. Wait, what? Self mark. So, what does that do to them? Just hit them slightly for damage. Okay. Marked, activate, repost. Two rounds. So, maybe that'll happen twice in a row. So, you got stunned. That was really the most important thing. You buffed you. Didn't expect that. What's this? Let me see. More damage, more accuracy, more crit, and. Oh, the stun resist is because of us. Yes! That's exactly what I wanted you to do. Thank you. It did give us 15 stress, but that's basically our only stress. It is literally our only stress, which is really good. So now, 60% damage versus marked. I think it's worth killing this. Before we get completely stressed out by the worst... Like, stress is obviously the mind killer. You can heal this sort of thing, but you can't... You can't heal that stress. So now... We start wailing away on probably the next worst, which is this one. Because this, this will protect something. But if I'm attacking that anyway, I don't care. Does that make sense? That does make sense. So we will, if it bleeds on this, just on the off chance, because often, you know, we can bring it to within two damage, two, uh, what's names of its life anyway. Three to six. We can knock it back and stun it. But it has a high stun resist. We can mark this one and give ourselves repost, but we already have repost. Hmm. Might do that anyway. You're marked, which is good. Three rounds. Yeah, let's do that. Keep up our repost. And try and get ourselves hit. Oh, good. So you basically used up a turn, because I'm not going to attack that anyway. You attack the wrong one, but Brian does... There's a debuff associated with Brian, but I don't know what it... Is that it? Did we do that to ourselves? Did I use the wrong one? I'm not sure. Ah, help. So, 60 damage... 60 percent damage versus marks. Wow. Did I not remove your... I didn't remove your protection. You got 58 percent protection. Fine. I'll remove your damage. I think we're playing the debuff game today rather than the DPS game, so maybe a bit slow going, but we'll get there in the end. No, this is the one that um, gets us. We don't have the one that charges us forward, actually. We may be in the wrong... I think you must, because I'm pretty sure I put you at the beginning. At the first position before. We'll uh, reorder at some point. 
Yeah, this is forward one, so I should have paid attention to that. No worries. I mean, they both work in both positions. It's only bleed out that doesn't. So. I mean, still got 58% protection. That's going to hit that anyway. So we might as well just hit this. This is going to be hard, because I haven't done anything about this one's protection, and I probably should have by now. But I, I noticed before. A bleed is not great, but it's... Six damage. At some point, we should start healing with this chap, but... Right, that's what we want. But that one's four away from dead anyway, so we'll do it on this one, which has 75% protection. Which is now down to 55%, which is nice. Spearfishing is ouchy. Yeah, it's just damage straight up. No worries. Three to six. We could kill it. We did kill it. Being able to one-shot it is really nice. I'm not sure why it didn't leave a corpse. Maybe it's just the type of monster doesn't leave a corpse. Uh, I only does one damage. <laughs> I'll make sure that we kill it. I mean, the bleed would have killed it if the uh, if the attack hadn't killed it. We definitely need to weird reconstruct you. Please roll high. No. <laughs> That's very not right. Ah, uh, shit. I'd be very, um, very pleased if Bagel could get another go. Hmm. I don't have Lick Wounds, which would be nice. Well. I'd like to stun it, so maybe you can have a go? Ah, uh, never mind. See if you can avoid rolling zero again, that'd be super helpful. There will be no blood left for the leeches. Uh, shush. Fourteen. We could actually one-shot this, which I'm concerned about. I'm going to scum it up slightly and get another go on the healing ability here. Yeah. Six is okay. Please resist the bleed. Thank you. And then we'll Right, so now we're probably going to kill it. Because even if it does get a go before us... Whatever. You missed! It's a dog! Stupid dog. Uh, right, what have you? 12 or 21? 19 or 29? So that's... 9. That's... 10. Uh, I think we'll go with closest to death, so it's actually still you. 15, where was that on the first round? You, stop bleeding. Go that Nice, torch. So I thought we may find some torches on the way in. Uh, let's use the person who just got a shitload of... Yeah, I was expecting that. A bleed, wasn't expecting that. How much is it for? Six. Yeah, I thought I'd use the person who just got... Um, <clears throat> fully healed to do something that was li I assumed was likely to damage us, and I was right. Yeah, I know you're bleeding. Quit whinging, Snowden. I bleed. <laughs> bleed. Room battle with treasure. Treasure. Right, there's a trap. Don't walk into the trap. You have got 60, 70, 90, 50. Well, short straw, or rather, shortest odds. Time to hunger. Eat. Happy with hunger. What I haven't done is checked how long this thing is. Ah, it's pretty fucking long. So I'm expecting we'll probably camp approximately halfway. Maybe just past halfway, I suppose that would be. But the reason you want to camp past halfway uh, is mostly because you're not going to get yourself back down to the state that you were in when you entered the dungeon. You're probably going to be worse off. So you want to do less than half after camping. Right, we're starting with the Houndmaster again, which is not great. Uh, didn't I give you a s oh, plus one speed? Okay. Okay, so you're probably going to go first quite often. That's fine. That's no good. Is that the only one you've got? I should uh, probably respect this one, because that's kind of no use to me yet at all. At least not in this dungeon. That might be good. That's definitely good. That's definitely good too. So we're probably going to respect that to have one of those two other skills that we... Haven't got right now, but until then, we will get rid of the protection on this. Get rid of. We'll debuff the protection on this. So now it's at 13%, which is much better. Much, much better. I'd like to yelp. We've got 25% um, on each. I think starting with a stun is not a terrible idea, because it just means that you get... It's like they're surprised, and then more so, because they don't even get to attack at that point. So we've got a lot of stress dealing creatures on this particular fight, so I'm going to have to 
think about de-stressing when we camp. But again, we don't want to camp until halfway through if we can avoid it. Uh, 14, 18, probably you. 11 is good, please resist the bleed. We did, because I got uh, the debuff on the bleed skill, which is probably helping us resist these bleeds. Right, you're the only one with an action left. I guess we could mark another target and activate Repost. I do like Repost because it means that the marksman, the, the man at arms can hit the unit at the back, which happened in an earlier fight. Unfortunately, that is not happening. That's a lot of stress. I think you have, we have some stress heal somewhere. Plus three. Not great. Uh, 60 damage versus marked. 60% damage versus marked. We might, might as well do it. You're marked, not you. You're at the front again. That's fine. I don't really mind. It's just I <laughs> keep failing to notice that for some reason. Like, normally I'd get rid of the stressy dealing things, but I seem to not be, so I assume I know what I'm doing. Uh... You have high dodge, you have higher dodge. I think this will last for three rounds, so we'll put it on that. Oh, well done. That's a hex, you don't dodge hexes. They're homing, right? Perfect. You move forwards. That was unexpected. You're barriering that. That's okay, because if this attacks Homesy, that'll take damage. That's fine. Uh... Actually, I'm probably down with this. Send this back to where it came from. I can still hit this though, we should do. We might crit, it's very unlikely. Here to crit, 7.8%. 6 is at the high end of the damage range there, so unfortunately that's not bleeding. How do we put a bleed on that? Well, it's kind of a double-edged sword, isn't it? If we put a bleed on it, it wouldn't be down at 4 points, because we wouldn't have used one of the actions that we hit, hit it for with. Uh, I think, is any of these a beast? No. So I think we just attack that. That's going to be annoying, but we do have... Do we have a thing? I'm not sure we have a corpse clearing thing. Hmm. Tell you what, let's bleed... Oh, middle ones, I see. I see, I see. You dodged the thing that stops you dodging, and you did it again. I was hoping to start bleeding this to try and get it down. Resist. That's okay, we can use the forward movie thing. Stop dodging my dodge stopper. Good. Now you're debuffed, so you've got zero dodge. That's really good. So you ain't dodging nothing from now on. Ha ha ha! Yeah, you didn't see that coming, did you? Jackass. Right, so we're going to rampart. Knock back this and stun it. Uh, apparently we're not knocking it back. We did do enough damage and we're back in the sensible position, so that's nice. Hmm. Stop having goes. It's fine. We've accumulated some stress, but it's not the end of the world. 15% damage versus Eldritch, which is you. And it hits both of the things at the back that are pissing me off. And I can probably spam to avoid one turn of healing. That's a lot. That's good. You. You don't even have a move forward skill now. Just try it. It's worth it, I think. The corpse is bleeding, which is what corpses don't tend to do. It's a bit gross, actually. You have a go, and you have a go. So one of you is going first. Oh, what is this? And you resisted the bleed. No, 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 good. Don't you have a trinket to make those better as well? Oh, you fucking didn't resist the bleed. GG. Serious. <laughs> Not down with this. I'm not at home for this. Snowlin, you have... No, no bleed buff. Please let Bagel have a go. So that we can... Heal someone. Bring that into range at least. Thank you. Uh, I want to heal... You. Ten and no bleed. Good. We've already got a bleed on, but it's only two more damage, who cares. Please hit that. That wasn't the best fight, but it wasn't the worst fight. Oh. So clearly in view, or is it merely a trick of the light? A trick of the light. <laughs> I wouldn't say it is. Let's eat some food. 
We could just ignore it. It's a thousand gold. I'm not ignoring that. This is 500. That gold is 200, but that can stack up to 1500, so... I guess we use a torch. It's alright. <laughs> kind of don't want to open that, because it could be trapped, and also we don't necessarily have the room for the stuff inside it. So I'll, I will not open it. Why is there a curio that we didn't open? Oh, it was, um... It was a rotting carcass. Stop walking into traps. Cool machinations spring to life. Cool machinations. Purpose. Well, I was going to open it anyway, but see yourself. Ta-da! What have you got? Compulsive. Low on supplies. The way is lit. The path is clear. Good. We require only the we're keeping on top of the inventory situation, but at some point we're going to want to camp just to get that inventory slot back. Nothing here. That's pretty nice. What's your debuff? Shit. <laughs> you're going last and you're not dodging anything. Just from that freaking trap. Which you could have spotted by, you know, scouting. Is anybody of you a cove phobe? Because that would be pretty bad. Weak grip on life. Let's try not to get Snowland into... No. Um, let's try not to get Snowland into Death's Door because that... Pff, that could go horribly, horribly wrong. Right, we've got a full stack of those now. More torch. Instead of expecting... Well, not that. Not that either! Uh oh. This should be okay. You're gonna have to move yourself. Don't like that. Uh, I think we'll go again with... What's this? 10% and 50%. We'll go again with trying to stun things because... That wasn't a stun, but I'm glad I did do it because it had the exact same effect. The only difference is that that might have been stunned, but there was a 50% chance of this it didn't. You can do everything from here. So actually you're in an okay position and I'm happy with it. It's you that I'm concerned about. But you can move forward, so these two may be swappable or roundable. Right, we're going to do our minus protection thing again. On... Right, maybe this? Actually, are we? Because you just smacked that for 14. So maybe you can smack that for 5. I don't know. In which case, we get damage versus beast, which is none of these. Or we can guard someone. We should guard you. Because you have poor dodge, etc. So, just in case you get attacked. Yeah, good dodge. I'm well up for that. So, we'll stun and knock back you. I'll move us forwards. And it's a good thing that Bagel gets to go after... Because now Bagel could do it. So these two are swappable around, which is great, as are these two, which is actually really useful. It makes it a lot easier to uh, recover from a, a, a shuffle around like that, as it's turned out. 14 and 10. So well, as you heal yourself, and you resisted the, your own bleed. This is going really well. Bringing that with a debuff to uh, bleed has actually worked out extremely well. And also note that you have the... Um, the resists as well is part and parcel of that pretty good trinket. So I'm hoping that you can just one-shot this. That's two. I didn't even check what the uh, range was. That was a bit silly. Oh, you get to go again. So heal this particularly nice chap who is taking all of your hits for you. So I hope you're being very grateful. Just going to uh, start dealing DPS. Maybe I should have attacked that. Okay. One damage for three rounds. We don't have any really multiple hitters, which is a shame. Crush. One to two. Activate repost. We might as well. Could have done some damage. That does mean that this happens. Ah, it wasn't enough. That's okay. You're on two HP. You can definitely kill this. Two to three. If you'd rolled a little bit higher on the last round, I would have been happy with that. You what? You're going down, mate. That's fucking it. Yeah, good dodge. And you still repost even if you don't get actually hit. That's really nice. Uh, let's do this. Now you're at the front again, which is fine. You're not doing anything on the next round. You... I'd like to uh, stop you having them going as well, but it doesn't seem to be likely. We could mark it and then do that, but there's a good chance that it just dies anyway over the course of our turn. And you might as well keep your HP up. One of you has a, an HP debuff, actually. Uh, a, a, 
quirk that activates below 50% HP? Or a stone? Ah, it's Snowland. Snowland has a stone. Yeah, below 50%. So we will need to keep that up. Which I think we have been doing, but it's good to be aware of it. You are on four. Just die. <laughs> I could have, you know, min maxed that until I was blue in the face, but just die seems to be the uh, quickest solution to these things. Good, good, good. Ah, uh, okay. Expedition at least promises success. Ah, uh, who fucking needs crests? They're everywhere. I'm leaving them behind. Let's see if I don't. Ah, oh, more H, more HP. The other thing. Can you move back? Magically. I don't think you can. We don't have a movie back type skill. Do you have a movie skill at all? No. None of the Houndmaster skills will move itself. And... This will move you forward. That's a quite light breakthrough. I might replace Bleed Out for Breakthrough. And then... the Then uh, Viva here can be in the second position all the time. But... For now, I'm just going to move. It's not a brilliant start, but we have been surprised twice in a row. No, don't put me back again. Okay, good. Let's <laughs> take a little bit of a piss. We've got one round of dodge left on this particular uh, unit, which is very nice. Okay. You do damage versus beast and marked. None of you is beast, but you are human. Protection. Nope, nope, nope. Nope. You've got high dodge, so we might use a debuff from Bagel there before we need to heal. Until then, we will just cause a huge amount of damage to whatever we can. No bleed. Unbelievable. Minus 15 dodge going on you. Perfect. How long does that last for? Excuse me? You resisted the debuff? No. No, no, no. That doesn't happen. You resisted as well, so that's okay. We're allowed to resist. We're the heroes. You're the bad guys. Not, whoa, what are you doing back there? 47... We could stop one of these from having another go, we could just try and beat the crap out of it. It's two hits from this, and so it's probably one hit from each of those. Ooh, it's probably three hits of those. No, no, no. No, 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 no. Holy crap. Well, at least you can still play, but... Fever Phonics is just going to be walking back and forth. All day. Plus damage. Because of the mark. A bleed is okay. That's really nice. I should have probably set up Retribution. That might be a good thing to start with on the Mana Arms. You have to move. Uh, because that could happen throughout. It lasts about three rounds, I think. So Can't dodge tentacles from the sky. Yeah. These things are always attacking uh, Holmesy here. So I think I will set up Retribution because it's just going to keep happening, I think. I really like it as well, this repost. Oh, now you're attacking that one. Stop it. <laughs> oh, you're marked. I'm not going to attack you. That's not how it works here. Plus stress damage. I mean, I kind of want to just kill this. Because that's a stress causer. So now this doesn't matter. Stop. <laughs> okay, good. Attack the one that is ready for the attack. You motherfucker. That's just five damage and then a bleed. Two damage. You're on three HP. <laughs> Why me? Okay. We should probably start healing people. 17, 12, 3, not great. Resisted the bleed though, as usual, but you are bleeding already, so I think that was a valid option. A crit! That's exactly what we need to see. Someone de-stress, will you please take some solace in the fact that we're beating the shit out of these things and uh, stress down? Like, do we just kill it? Going by my previous philosophies, yes. Again, I, I always want these things to die from their bleed, but they're never in death range from their bleeds. So that's really annoying. You are going to be weakened. A crit on a curse. Now you're getting de-stressed from it. So I think we're uh, getting close to the point where you want to camp. Good. good. Dodge and hit back. That's exactly what we like to see. I really want to unlock um, Breakthrough now, because that would move you forward and damage that. In fact, that's all I can do, so... Move. <laughs> what a lame move to finish with. 
it's, it sort of breaks the continuity of the action, doesn't it? Of the the, the excitement. Die. A crit at the end. I tell you what, Snowlin, you were really doing well for ending these things on the right foot. Which means you get the opportunity to try the other oyster. Ah, oh, it's empty. Let's try though. So, do we do one more room? I was thinking about here is where we camp anyway. And I think we can survive one more fight. Provided it doesn't have too much stress in it. We can probably survive two more fights. I'm just checking we haven't got an extra stack of torches for some reason. We've got way too much food again, but we can always eat it all. That's one thing I don't tend to do, is use the food for eating. Like to heal up between combat. In fact, I think I'll do that now. No, you're not moving. Why are you, why are you on move? <laughs> you go back. No! It keeps selecting the one that was in that position. You. I think that'll do. It gives us that extra slot. Wasn't expecting that, but I'm glad we weren't surprised for once in our lives. Uh, we could yelp and stop those two from playing. 50 and 10. Stop that one from playing, but that one's just a DPS unit. This is the uh, stress unit, and this is a stress unit. So, what I'm really going to do is hack it and whack it and smack it. No. No, no, no. <laughs> Alright. Plan B, attack that one first. Can you actually hit that one? No. Ah, fair enough. I guess... Are you a beast? No. You're all eldritch and unholy. I should remember that. Less protection. No one has protection. Or we can guard someone. We should probably guard... Uh, bagel here, because... That's very stressy. Low... Close to... Not close to death, but... You know what I'm saying. It's the closest to death, I suppose. By one point, but still. Heal yourself. Heal you, because you're now guarding. That's a lot of heal! I'm happy with it, but wow. Where's that when we were low on HP in the first place, huh? Right, so now we're going to Retribution. Try and stun this, which has got 50% resist. Uh, this is the stun. That was my mistake. I meant Retribution because I wanted the Repost, but I confused the fact that it stuns. You dodged the Repost. It's the only reason I got Repost is for you, you little shitbag. Right, let's try and rush this one down, I guess. Six is like half of it. Exactly half of it, yeah. And then we guess debuff it. This uh, cultist doesn't actually come with any damage doing attacks. It's got a good array of, re of debuffs. Perfect. You can hack this one. Perfect. Wow, this is going really well. I wasn't expecting to come out of our second fight or our fight just before the room we're going to camp in uh, with a huge amount of... Um, like strength left in us, but we're doing really well on this one. The revenge. What the fuck was that? I don't know what just happened. Uh, but you got extremely damaged. You attacked that, even though I thought that did. I don't. <laughs> what what happened basically? Uh, I need you to have a go. So what we're gonna do is stress heal you. Oh, everybody, that's actually pretty good. Yes. That's exactly what we want to see. And the 13, and you resisted your own bleed. Perfect, and then you die. That was an excellent final round, because that was an excellent roll on uh, the occultist there. Triumphant pride precipitates a dizzy you fall. eat two, and you can take it. So we'll probably camp in this room, because I'm getting a little scared, and also we're kind of running out of inventory space. So. In radiance, may we find victory. I'd like to at least free up the one. Yeah, this is a good place to camp. Let us do this. We'll eat as much as we can. That gives us one uh, one hunger to not take any stress about. So you need to be de-stressed. As do you. No one has any wounds to speak of. You are completely zero stress. That could be a, a good thing. More. We've already been surprised more times than I'm happy with on this run. Uh, and the nighttime ambush not happening is brilliant. 50% scouting chance isn't great. We're going to all the rooms anyway. It's not like we need to know what's coming up. Bleeding and Blight. You have got reduced stress, more protection, more damage. Buff somebody. You have got wound care. Don't need it. Self. Oh, okay. So we drink and we reduce our accuracy and speed. 
but we de-stress ourselves, and everybody else reduces accuracy and speed. Right, so we become more jovial, <laughs> but less likely to. Ooh, yes, absolutely that. To help with the stress, that eight percent crit is really good. I will encourage you. You can encourage. I've only got one encouraged. Okay. So you will do the Hound's Watch. Your nose mascaras tonight. <laughs> Strange mental image. What else have we got? Prevents nighttime ambush. So that was three, but stresses everybody out. Uh, we could Revel. Reduce the stress by 20 and take less stress damage. But we're going to be. <laughs> we're going to be fucked, so let's not do that. Five dodge and three speed. I will put that on Bagel for four combats. So everyone's uh, ready for four combats now, which is really good. There should be... I'm expecting four left, basically. Uh, but Bagel being able to go first and dodge more is going to be super useful. Right. Moving on. Moving on. No. No traps. Watch your step. You better watch your step. You go walking out. Yeah. That's a Joan armor training. No, don't touch it. <sighs> I don't know what it is. <laughs> I don't want you to touch stuff when I don't know what it is. Half the time, I don't know what you to touch stuff when I do know what it is. That's a very dangerous quirk to have, but it's so expensive to remove it. So, look, can I at least have four combats? That's all I'm asking. Um, it's like, is it a risk? The risk reward assessment for that well, for opening things all the time. I don't know. Trap! Snowlin, seriously. You've done it again. <laughs> What's this bollocks? Jesus Christ, mate. You! You two are being unfriended. Fucking ruining everything for everybody. Combat, please. I know there is at least one more combat. Because we haven't finished the quest. But nothing's happened on any of these... Lame. Come on now. Don't touch it. The match is struck. A blaze. Go. There we go. Surprise two. That's a, that's a buff from the nighttime watch there. Right. What are we gonna do? Don't like these. Uh, salty gouge, and a shocker. <laughs> well, takes all sorts. Um, there's a stun and a bleed on both of these, and this is just DPS. So these are terrible, and they've got. High stun resists, so... You're going first. <clears throat> oh, my throat, what's happening? Uh, have you got high dodge? Yes. So we'll try and remove that where possible. You resisted the debuff, you fucking dick. 18% chance to crit. And a good chance to one-shot it, as long as we don't dodge it. Execute Done. Now do that again to that. Can you just tell her to have another go? That would be splendid. I'll, uh, I'll use Retribution again. It marks us and activates Repost, which means that the next thing to attack us will be uh, re reposted, I suppose. Sure. I mean, you've, only, you've not really got much you can do without a setup, but the only mark target is dead. And that's the only setup we have. That's uh, that's fine. We resisted the diva. We did get stunned, which is not what I wanted. But I seem to remember that the Houndmaster has an opportunity for a. Yo, you can't have two stuns in a row. I assume it's the same stun, right? Yeah, you, you just keep it. Why are we attacking the healer incessantly? You have one that removes. Who was it? <laughs> Someone had it. I found one. A, a stun clear? I can't remember. It looked good. Nobody's attacked you yet, which is no good. 8 of 10. You could roll high and kill it. You didn't, but you could have, and I stand by that. Why couldn't you have just gone first? <laughs> I maybe I should have hit that one thinking, like knowing that that would have done it. Well, that's one of our four combats where you've got high. 8% stun resist as well. I guess you heal yourself. 15, perfect. And you've 
none of the bleeds as a result of that has actually taken in this entire mission, which is really good. Uh, you can't... Okay. I like if it bleeds because of the amount of damage it does as well. Seizes momentum. I'm going to keep our food at 4, but I'm going to eat everything else. Just to keep our HP topped up. I do like uh, if it bleeds. You, you forget that it does actual damage as well. So the surprise is good because we've got uh, the 20% buff. I mean, can you just kill these straight out? We can. You have a high chance to crit, although you've hit several times and still not procced it. Yeah, go on. Where are my crits? <laughs> I only need to hit five times to be guaranteed one crit. That's how maths works. Two Eldritch. Some dodge. And a crit. Really good. So you're not long for this world. What are you on? Two. Can this do two damage? Yes. You can't hit it. Motherfucker. You dick. No, you can't hit any of those. But if you attack you, that's why we use this repost so much. Apart from the fact it's awesome. Right, so you attack you, please, and then you'll hit you and die. Good. Alright, I'm glad he's talked this through. I could just kill it straight away. I feel if we're going to kill something, we should kill the one that's going to be harder to kill in future. Yeah, I think that's the correct option. Although that one's still at the back and therefore stuck. Like, harder to hit. Nope, this one. Um... That one had more HP, and yet we were still reasonably likely to kill it. The guaranteed kill was the safer option, but the less guaranteed kill was the... I think it was a sensible option. A 32 heal from that crit! This fucking healer is coming with us. That, you can see why I wanted this unit, but it's so long for one to show up on the, on the stagecoach. Can you not do these ouchies? I do love repost. Uh, we could yow. Does it do any damage? No. Or we could just literally hit something. And basically be guaranteed to kill, provided we actually connect the shot. Now we do this one, because you're the only one who can reach it directly. It resisted the bleed. That's kind of okay, I think. You are also critted, so our crits are doing really well. I don't think we buffed ourselves in terms of crits. Uh, pardon me? What's this, 250? You know, that's worth like zero. Wow, look at that. 2500. So that was in the uh, secret room chest. Oh, good. We'll continue adventuring. I want to know what's in here. Snowland, that's your job. There are treasures hidden inside. A thousand gold. Oh, look. You can't take 25 of them. I'm going to bail simply because we have no... Oh, I'll tell you what, though. No, no, no. We've got plenty of stuff. So I'm going to do the last room. See if there's anything on the way. We know there's no combat in it, which I'm pretty sure guarantees there's no... Oh, fuck. There's combat here, though. I'm pretty sure it guarantees there's no treasure in it. Not convinced about that. You heal... Ah, no. We need to get rid of some of this protection. That's got a lot of dodge. Right, so we'll... This has got a debuff resist of 10, and yet we still managed to fuck it up. Try it anyway. Yeah, you don't have your dodge anymore, so you're a juicy target. This is 2 to 3. So even though that's a very high damage attack, do have a high crit chance though. Seriously? What do I pay you for? I'll deep rot this one. It gives us a strong chance to kill it with, uh, with Honesy. Can kill it? Missed anyway. Whatever. Do I look like I'm bothered though? Don't stun. I wonder whether that is the furthest they can reach. If I swap these two around, do you think that it won't be able to reach uh, reach Bagel for the stun in future? I mean, I like surprising the enemies because we get to go first. But then... They all get to go at once, which means they can really focus down a target. And if they did that, Such a terrible assault cannot be left we'd be in trouble. Uh, pardon? Why are you still getting to go? We didn't do the pissing ourselves overnight thing. It's because both of those fuckers were stunned. 
Uh, one of you has a debuff, which is you. Now it's three to six, so we're definitely killing it. And it doesn't leave a corpse, so I think it's a move up. Oh, eager vault. Uh, we will retribution. Do some damage to the one. It's already got some damage. It's a bit much of a muchness right now. Brian is okay. Doesn't necessarily. Uh, still don't know what the debuff is. Doesn't necessarily hit all the time. Everyone's slightly damaged. But I think we'd run. Uh, what's this? Less than half? That's less than. That might count as less than 50%. So just in case that's causing the the trinket to trigger. You're going to do extra damage to this. So that's definitely dead. That does leave a corpse. Right. No stun. For fuck's sake. How much stun resist do you need? That's what we like to see. The fucking 20% crit actually doing us some good. Excuse me? I'm pretty sure I clicked on that, but okay. Apparently I did not click hard enough. No dodging dogs. We should eat the doggy treats. Resisted all of that, which is stupendous. Oh, you're dead anyway. Cool, here's some stuff. This is why I wanted to carry on. So we will get rid of get rid of those. Take that. Cause I need I need heirlooms and things, so I'm taking those sort of in preference. We'll use a torch. We don't need the rest of the torches. And I'd like some gold, <laughs> basically. No touchy. Oh no touchy. Bad. Oh good. Virtue. Nymphomania. I beg your pardon, Holmesy. Well, <laughs> good for you. I'm no judge. So we don't need these. Maybe there's treasure in here. No, nothing. Well, GG. Let's let's go. I think we got as much as we could have. We kind of rinsed that, is what I'm saying. I don't know how to skip this, but other people have done it. I mean, you can skip it whilst it's happening, but you can't complete it. So. Clutch hitter, that's really good. I like this. Cove tactician, so you got that from being in the cove. We have to be careful with Holmesy, because uh, that's as many virtues as Holmesy can have. That's a problem. That's a bit shit, but that's pretty good. So scouting chance and a damage chance. That was a really good party to take, and I'm very happy with Bagel there. But unfortunately, basically everyone has to now be healed of their stress. In time, it's good. Jackery gained gained 500 gold. Well done, Jackery. Look how much fucking cash we got. That was such a good mission. I'm very happy with that. You got both of them. Oh, I'm so happy with that. The sanitarium has a chance to remove a second thing when you're going for a first thing. And it actually happened. Holmesy has leveled up to level 2, and Bagel is now level 1. So well done, Bagel and Holmesy. Jekri has... Uh, Jekri and Ash have actually outdone my expectations here. Today, um, by bringing home extra bacon, and by curing themselves of all disease. Super happy with that. Dutch is still diseased with rabies, which I'm actually kind of okay with. The accuracy damage trade-off is fine. This is probably a problem. I have to make sure Jekri doesn't get taken to anywhere that's got... Um disease is rife. Right, we, could, we probably should be thinking about paying to get rid of one of these. That's alright. But that uh, you can see why I like the occultist, and I'm probably going to take the occultist on a future mission, but for now uh, we will put this occultist who is called Bagel in for meditation, so quiet your mind and your gob, please. Everyone else, I think, is actually on that threshold of not really prepared to spend 850 gold just to, you know, de-stress them. But I think that'll do it for this episode. Thank you for watching. In the next episode, we'll probably just pick something. I'm not it's not entirely, you know, concerned. Maybe the ruins. It's still level 1. We've got a short apprentice and a medium apprentice. We did really well on the last medium. Uh, although, you know, things change. This is a very uh, stressy place. It's got all those um, those, uh, I can't remember what they're called, the ones that the 
female looking ones with the face mask that do the stress. Anyway, there's a lot of stress in here, so we should take people or trinkets that have stress resist. Uh, oh, we've got a Warren's. We've got a... That's a new type of thing, actually. We haven't seen one of those yet. It's a medium mission, and we have to... I'll show you. We'll, we'll see it eventually. Uh, but until then, once again, thank you for watching. Uh, do leave a like if you liked it, and don't forget to subscribe if you would like to see more. But I think everybody is well on board with this series, and I'm, I'm enjoying it as much as you are. So, uh, yeah, for the third time, and possibly the fourth time, thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.